Sarah, I live in Texas. We farm a ranch over a thousand acres of land. Some of our land has been the family for 82 years. In January, we will pass the milestone of 83 years in the same county. We have seen ups and downs, not anything like this. We have been married for over 50 years. Our kids are grown and farm or ranch in other parts of Texas. What the farmers and ranchers are dealing with now is a huge mess. My husband is now in his 70s and he is so stressed out. It's a roll of the dice this year. We have only two and three quarter inches of rain on record since last August. Our farmland was planted in hopes of rain. Now it's dying in the fields. You can't afford to pump water with the electric bills out of the roof. I've seen $250,000 in our bills for that one month. How do you pay that? We are letting it burn up. Our wheat this spring didn't make it. It just didn't grow. The wheat was to be baled to feed cattle all winter. What we did get was just enough for seed for the wheat crop this fall. There is a lot of fields here with no crops. It's been 107 degrees and full wind. More hot wind than I can ever remember. It's like an oven when you have to work out in it. Our cattle are drinking gallons of water each day. We pump and store five 500 barrel tanks for them and are worried it might not hold up. We sold hundreds of head due to no rain and cattle just can't eat the dirt. We are now down to our seed cattle and trying to hold on to them. There will be no cotton, peanuts, and wheat crops for many of us in Texas. I have a little garden and I'm canning everything I can. I'm trying to get everything put up as much as I can to hold us until things get better. I know this dry spell will take years to get the farmer's and land back to growing food. Texas is running out of water. Many states are. We can't grow food without water. I feel that we all have to put up enough for three years, if not more. I've been putting up for the last two, but now with no rain and no crops in a lot of states, that might not be enough. It's really time to get in the saddle and go to work and getting your family ready for what's coming. We, the farmers and ranchers, can see how bad things are getting from our end. Even if we get rain, it's going to take a lot. We will not be able to plant until next spring. That year of food and fiber is completely lost for America. America needs to bend its knee and pray. Pray. Pray for our country. Bring us back to dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalm 91.1. Thank so what you just heard was an actual letter that was sent to a prepper site on YouTube. And as somebody who lives in Texas, I just had to comment on her letter. Everything that she said is true. In Texas, we are in one of the worst droughts that I've seen in my whole 48 years of living in Texas. Our water tables are down. We're having to ration water. I'm sure you've heard on the news about our grid. Uh, we've already started having some rolling blackouts where I live in Texas. But what I wanted to say also is remember when we had the freeze here in Texas and how our politicians Ted Cruz and Governor Abbott said oh it's because of the green energy the green energy is causing it it's the windmills the windmills the windmills don't you know they freeze up in the winter time you know we need to drill baby drill more gas and more oil well here it is in summer and I guess our grid still doesn't work. It doesn't work when it's cold. It doesn't work when it's hot. And to that farmer, I'm sure, because she's such a good little Christian lady, that she probably votes Republican for Ted Cruz and Governor Abbott. The reason why Texas is suffering is because all of you idiotic Republicans 
who vote for Abbott and Cruz and Paxton and all of these idiots that run Texas. Climate change. That's why we're suffering. I know you don't believe in it, but it's real. Because now finally you can see it for the first time in your stupid ass little lives. Your selfish little lives living in your little bubble, in your little town. Now you're suffering. Oh well, bitches. I don't feel sorry for you at all. I hope you lose your farm. I hope you go broke. Because you pray to a God who doesn't give a crap and you vote for Republicans who don't give a crap because you're poor. They only care about the rich. Coke Industries, oil, natural gas, Exxon, Chesapeake, that's who they care about. They don't give a shit about you. So when you're out there with no water and you're losing your farm, it's because of climate change. And I love how you put that little psalm in there. Oh, get on your knees for Jesus and pray. God, if he exists, don't care. You live in Texas. If God couldn't protect all of those children in Uvalde, do you think he gives a shit about your farm? I think God is a sadomasochistic faggot. And he loves to watch and jerk off in the corner if he exists. I don't believe his bitch ass even exists. And if he does, strike me down now, you son of a bitch. So, to all of the Republicans who live in Texas, who I have to endure on a daily basis, this is the world you created. Drill, baby, drill. Screw green energy. Gas and oil, oil and gas. Pollute it to the max. And now, reap the whirlwind.